So this is 2015 question A2. So we have the graphic that's shown the uh, World Cup trophy based on two parabolas A, B and C, D. The circle is tangential to the curves V1 and V2 are the vertices of the parabolas. F1 and F2 are the focal points. So draw the parabolas and show clearly how to determine the positions of B, D, P and Q. Right, we're going to draw the parabola using the rectangle method. So all right, this is the center line of the rectangle. So there's one half of the parabola is up here and the other uh, portion of the other half is down below. Now, we need to divide this line up here into any number of divisions. And this line needs to be divided up into the same number of divisions. So I'm going to divide this line up into four. Okay, it doesn't have to be four. It could be three, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, all that matters is it's equal division. So how to do that? I'm going to draw a line at any acute angle uh, from F1 and I'm going to mark four equal divisions uh, on that line. So four equal divisions. Now I'm going to mark or join the last point to A and draw subsequent lines parallel to that. Now these points here, I'm going to draw them parallel to the axis. Okay, or sorry, from these points here on the division line, I'm going to draw them parallel to the axis. Now. I'm going to divide this into four equal divisions. So this line here. So I'm going to draw a line at any acute angle. Okay, it can be any length and divide evenly by the number four. So I've marked even four equal divisions on that there. And now I'm going to join this point here, the last point in the line, back to the corner of the rectangle here. And all the subsequent lines are parallel. Now, I'm going to join those points to V1. Now, I'm going to plot those points here with my compass. I'm going to transfer these distances here, as both of them are identical. And join to V2. Label these points 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So where 1 touches 1 is a point on the curve, 2 touches 2, 3 touches 3 is a point in the curve. Now it's the same over here. 1 is a point in the curve, 2, 3 points on the curve. Alright, and we can freehand sketch those in. So I'll do I'll pause and do that. We'll freehand sketch them in. Now to get the bottom portion, I can just mirror these points down, okay? So one, two, three, three points is enough to mirror. So to run a portion of it will just run below the page there and the same here. So this line or this set square is parallel to the vertical axis there. And then we're going to take our compass, all right? And I can step this distance below there. So I'll have to extend that line in a moment. This point is the same here. And then we can freehand sketch those points on the curve in again. So we're going to sketch these in. So we go, and then that's the construction clearly shown how to find point D. You've got to extend below it. So I'm going to do in the left hand side now. So B and D are where the curve intersects the baseline, and then P and Q are vertically up. Now draw a circle tangential to the curves at point P and Q. So to do that, we need to draw a tangent. To the parabola we need to draw a tangent to the parabola and the center point of the circle lies on the normal which is at 90 degrees to the tangent at the point of contact and intersects the center line at the center of the circle so to draw the tangent i'm going to join f2 to q and i will draw a horizontal line across which is already there i'm going to take my compass then and bisect that angle so compass at any radius So that's the angle bisected here. This is the tangent here now. So that's the tangent. And then the normal is a right angle to the tangent. So I'm gonna draw a line perpendicular to the tangent through point Q. And 
and here's the center point of the uh, circle and now we can go in and draw this circle so I can just draw it in there and that's it done cheers thank you bye bye